Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. It's uh, Thursday today, and I have to be honest, I did not want to get out of bed today. I'm tired. I had a long doctor's appointment with my mom yesterday, and I just didn't want to get up. Plus, it's raining and gloomy outside, so that, I feel like, just never helps. So we're on our way to work. I am filming on a day that I'm with my provider, which I don't think, I don't know if I've ever filmed on a day that I'm actually with my provider. Usually I'm triage, but today I'm filming with my provider. So hopefully it'll be a good day. Um, yeah, I don't know what's gonna be in store, but hopefully today goes by quickly, because like I said, I'm just feeling tired. I didn't even have time to make coffee this morning, and uh, I dread these days when I don't have time to make coffee, and I'm just like running behind already. But we'll see how it goes, right? All right, um, yeah. So I'll, I will catch you guys inside. <laughs> Oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes yeah. Baby going down, 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 down Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I thought it's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure Just thought I should let you know yeah. So more, no. I got so high on a low That's when I love you the most Now I thought I should let you know No, 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 it's no more, no I really thought we had it covered Was gonna patch up all the scars But we smashed up all the parts Oh, na, na, na Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard To figure out who you really are Well, we did it, you guys. We made it to the halfway point of our day. Woo! Okay, so, um, I'm with my provider, so I did a lot of rooming today, which I can't really film because of patient confidentiality. Um, but I did a lot of lab letters, triages, I did some allergy shots, um, I did, um, shots for a baby as well. Um, so I'm gonna run home. It's still kind of a muggy, rainy, just cloudy gloomy day outside I don't know if you guys can see my window here it's raining so I'm gonna head home I have to go to the bathroom I have to eat lunch hopefully see Amir if he's home he might still be at class though I don't know if I told you guys Amir is taking algebra um, at college over the summer for a month to get that out of the way so that's exciting for him I'm happy for him um, 
so yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna go eat lunch and then I have a couple questions somebody emailed me. I was so excited with some great questions that I'm gonna go over with you guys and then um, we'll head back to work after that. So let's go eat lunch. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm, taking a vlog, I'm vlogging today, day in the life of a nurse. Yeah. My lunch, <laughs> showing my lunch. My friend at work made this granola. She gave me the whole bag. Oh, she it's did? really good if you want some. You yeah. eat it just by itself. Yeah, yeah. I was eating in the car by the car uh, myself. I wanted to try it. She tried to make it into cookies, but she said it didn't work. Oh, she did? Yep. Hi, Zay Zay. You want to say hi? Hi, Zay Zay. Um, it's good, right? I don't know. I have no idea what she put in there. Hi, Meals. I missed you. I missed you too. You take a nap? No, I'm not. You're not tired? Okay, I'm gonna eat lunch. Mommy? What? Wow. Yeah, I can turn it on for you. You being good for grandma? Okay. Alexa off! Let's turn Alexa off for now. Isn't it so good? Take some home with you. I won't eat all that. I'll get you the recipe for that. My mother-in-law's um, here watching the kids while Amir's at class. All right, you guys, I'm just leaving the house. I'm gonna go answer some questions in my car so that it's quiet. Okay, let me just pull up my questions first. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I got an email from, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, Soing Ho? So, S-U-O-N-G space H-O. Um, thank you so much for emailing me these questions. They're great questions. So she said that she just graduated from ADN program and would love to work in a clinic. She has some questions. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's see. Question number one. Do you have any tips on training? Are there books or videos that you referenced? So when I first started at my office, um, they put me with another nurse, an experienced nurse, and I just, for like a straight week, followed her around. So that's pretty much all the training that I got was computer, following people around. So if I knew that they were gonna go in to draw blood um, or give shots or something, I always just followed along, went in with them, asked a ton of questions. And I also referenced YouTube a little bit. I would look stuff up on YouTube, especially with blood drawing. I was mostly nervous about um, drawing blood and getting a feel for it. And now I absolutely love drawing blood. It's one of my favorite parts about my job. Um, but when it comes to training, I mean, we had like a handbook at my job, but I'm more of a hands-on learner, so reading through a manual or a book is not going to help me. Um, if you're one of those people, I'm sure that your job must have one. But um, just getting in on as many things as you can with your colleagues, asking lots of questions, and then if you're really unsure about something, you can always reference YouTube a little bit, but just make sure that, I mean, every office has different policies, so just make sure that what you're looking up on YouTube is fits also what your office wants from you. Um, and training just comes with time. So number two, was there anything you didn't expect working as a clinic nurse? Um, I don't know if I really had like too many expectations. Like I think I just went in with a really open mind and I think that's probably what you should do in any job. Um, I can't, I mean, I wasn't expecting to have such great friends coming out. Um, you know, going into work, I love to death all of my colleagues. We have such a fun time every day. Um, but in terms of like the job itself, um, I think there, for myself as an LPN in an office, there's, I wasn't expecting there to be as much paperwork as there is. Um, there, there is a lot of like paperwork coming in that we fill out for people. There's also a lot of nurse things that we do, but I think the paperwork load, I, maybe I wasn't expecting it to be as much. Number three, what issues did you encounter on the job? Um, hmm. What issues did I encounter on the job? I think for me, um, because the 
computer system we were using was brand new to me. The main issues that I had was working in the computer system and the charts that we have on the computer. So just like figuring out like how to fax things from a patient's chart or um, I think I was most nervous about triage and like answering a phone call like if somebody's calling with chest pain like I that gave me like so much anxiety that I was going to answer one of those phone calls and it was going to be an emergency and I wasn't going to know how to handle it properly but you just like get used to it the more you listen to other nurses do it the more that you do it yourself you just got to kind of jump in and do it and ask questions always ask questions even if you feel like the person's getting annoyed at you or whatever that's your license ask questions um so I think, you know, I was just scared about those type of phone calls and the computer system took a lot of time. But other than that, I don't think I encountered too many issues. You know, just like I said, it takes time. Don't expect to go in right away and, and just like, you know, within six months, you're going to know everything. No, it takes like a year. It takes even more than a year. I learn new things every day. I always say that. So, um, and I know that there was more questions. Let me see. How long was orientation? How long did it take for you to get comfortable at your job independently? So I just answered that one. Um, about a year, I would say, comfortably. Six months, I felt like I wasn't like asking so many questions. The first six months, I asked like so many questions every single day, and I felt like there were questions that people already answered for me. But sometimes I'm a slow learner, and and you know, there's just so much information to take in all at once that some things stick, some things don't stick. Get yourself a notebook and a pen and write things down to refer back to your notes and things like that orientation like I said it was probably like a week or two I was working underneath another nurse and then they kind of like there's two nurses per doctor so like I still had a nurse I was working under but at that point like I was able to room by myself and it was just kind of like you were off on your own but still learning new things that sorry excuse me I just ate lunch every day so there wasn't really like an orientation but it was um, like two weeks of training. Um, number five, did you make a professional nursing portfolio? If so, what did you include and how many pages was it? So I didn't make a portfolio, but I did have a resume. My resume was two pages long. I don't think a resume should be more than two pages. I think that's a little excessive. Um, when somebody gets your resume, they want it to be short and sweet to the point. I included my past jobs that I've had non-nursing related, and then I included my schooling and my internships and clinical work that I had done in school. And, um, yeah, I think that's what I included on my resume. Um, any tips in general to help prepare for a clinic nurse job? Um, I guess, like I said, get a notebook and a pen. Take lots of notes. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't feel like you're going to have the job down in a week or two. Like I said, I really think it takes a year, if not more, to get really comfortable at your job. Um, nurses eat other nurses alive, especially brand new ones. So just don't be intimidated by other nurses. Some nurses are really great about training and they're helpful and they're open to questions. And some nurses just aren't. There doesn't mean they're not great nurses. They just don't, don't like it or they're not good at it. So, um, you know, just find somebody that doesn't mind helping you and, um, don't, don't be afraid to, Repeat your questions over and over again if needed. <laughs> Number six. Um, oh, wait. No, that was it. I answered that one. Okay, so thank you so much for those questions. Those were such great questions. And I hope that they helped other people that are watching this video that maybe are going into nursing as well. All right, you guys. I got to get back to work. So this is the second half of my day now. It's probably going to be more of the same stuff. And I will try to grab as much footage as I can for you. Um, yeah, let's get this done so that I can be home again with my family.
it's over. That was such a long, long afternoon and I had some difficult patients that I was talking to on the phone. Um, I had a woman specifically that has shingles on her right arm, open sore shingles, very painful, I realized. But So she's already taking gabapentin, which is usually the pain med that we would prescribe that's best for shingles. Um, she was already taking it for a separate situation. She has a long history with gabapentin. So she was already at her maximum dose of gabapentin that she could safely take because she was an 81-year-old female. And um, so she wouldn't take any more of her gabapentin, which is fine. And then I suggested Tylenol, you know, every eight hours on top of it. The doctor obviously told me to suggest that. And she was concerned about her liver enzymes and so she wouldn't take that um we can't do lidocaine patches because she still has open sores on her skin so can't do that she was just being a little difficult on the phone with me every suggestion that we tried to make to help her so sometimes like going back and forth i must have called her like five times back and forth back and forth you know suggest something nope i can't do it for this reason that reason it just sometimes makes your day like a little bit more complicated so I definitely need to take a second to myself in my car and blow off a little steam here before I head home officially. I wanted to go to the tanning salon um, just for myself. It's been kind of crappy out today. I wanted to get that warmth and everything, but it's a little late. It's like 5.45 right now, and honestly, I'm just hungry, and I want to see my kids and change into some comfy pajamas and just relax. So I don't think I'm going to be doing that today. I'll probably end up going tomorrow instead. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to take a couple minutes to myself here before heading home. I'm home. So happy to be home. I just changed into some comfy clothes. And I want to show you guys Amelia's new hair, but she's hiding in the closet. <laughs> giggling. So I cut Isaiah's hair um, sometime this past weekend. I cut, I think maybe even Monday. And his is just a regular fade and I gave him like a little part on the side. But Amelia wanted her hair cut too and instead of just a trim, I let her go on Pinterest and like pick her haircut because I want her to be able to express what she wants. So we kept it long still. We gave her some layers and she wanted, she picked a picture with bangs and I asked her several times, do you want bangs? Do you want bangs? She said, yes, I want bangs. So I want to show you guys how beautiful, how absolutely beautiful she looks. So we did bangs. Come on, Mia. No! They want to see! <laughs> Get over here, sister. Come on. Here's Zay's haircut. Oh, Here's look how handsome. Hair, right? Here's my haircut. Oh, there. Oh, wait. Let me see. Let me see. Do it again. Oh, well, you got a glimpse of it. Zay's haircut. Zay, Zay. There's Zay's haircut. There's Mealy's haircut. Yeah. No, on the weekend we can go to Rebecca's house. Not, not today. Let's do dinner. Let's do dinner. Let's do. Dinner. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna make the kids two of these um, Kid Fresh pizzas for dinner. They had them on Monday for lunch, and they were super yummy. So we're gonna. What are you doing? You you crazy? Okay, let's do pizzas. Okay. Pizza. Pizza. You got your popsicle? You got your popsicle? I miss you all day. I miss your little face. I miss your little face. Yes, I did. Puppies! <laughs> you goofball. You're a goofball. You're a goofball. Mwah. I love you. While the kids have pizza, I think I'm going to make these um, penne pastas and a little bit of this and I have these tomatoes left over from um, our shopping spree that I'm going to cut up and add to the pasta and some spinach with some parmesan cheese. Mm, these look good, huh Zay? You want to try one? Yes. Yes, very good. His speech has been better you guys. I don't know if you've noticed but you <laughs> goofy. You got a tomato. They're super yummy. I love these Wild Wonders um, Gourmet Medley Tomatoes. All of them are so good to eat by themselves as well. Yummy. 
Okay, switched it up a little bit. So we've got the pasta, and I did a butter sauce instead with um, garlic, onion, some basil, spinach, the tomatoes, and the Parmesan cheese. It smells delicious, you guys, and I cannot wait to dig into this. We're now outside. I'm letting the kids ride their bikes for a little bit. The rain has stopped and if you have kids, you know that they have got to get their energy out. So we're, that's what we're doing right now. We're just outside. I'm relaxing on my phone, on Instagram and Facebook, just checking things. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely check me out. The link is below. And Amir just got home from giving my mom a ride to the grocery store. <laughs> Holy kids. What are we doing now, guys? I don't want to eat it. Zaya, look at mama. I don't really feel very good. Oh, okay. Well, you don't have to eat an apple. Zaya, let me see. <laughs> oh, look how stinking cute. <laughs> Zaya's eating a mini muffin. Here's Miel. She's watching her one of her favorite shows, Daily Bumps. It's, um... A show on um, YouTube. So I'm just cuddling with the kids. Amir's out there playing video games. But I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Because I'm tired. And I'm going to put Isaiah down for bed. And i got to hop in the shower for tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love making nursing vlogs for, vlogs for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, I know comments are probably off on this video. But turn on your notification bell. And check me out on Instagram to ask me questions. And to follow me. And yeah, I love you guys. Mwah. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah.